uh, that uh, we received. First of all, David Kahn, welcome to the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. The uh, materials you sent us say, uh, you talk about Jim Jones and how uh, Jonestown melted down and, you know, we all should have known and it was a terrible thing. And you say the only difference, Khan will tell you, is that Obama is even more dangerous. Just days before Obama prepares to interrupt the public school day with an eerily Big Brother-type broadcast to students across the country, those events with an interview of the one man who can look inside the mind, that would be you, uh, that would dream up such a stunt as giving a national address to the youth of this nation, which to which to some sounds Hitler-esque. Uh, you're aware, of course, that George Herbert Walker Bush and Ronald Reagan did the same thing. To some extent, but not with the uh, underlying agenda. And uh, I think that uh, that's the important thing to keep in mind. He's building a base and using his charisma for things that he's going to say later. But he does want to draw the children to him. Uh, actually, that's a, a, a main way that Jones Wouldn't got... you want the President of the United States to inspire children, particularly an African-American President of the United States, when you have a terrible problem in African-American communities, poor, particularly poor ones, of kids staying in school, to be inspiring kids to stay in school? Yes, I, I do want that. And I think that uh, any leader who has an agenda that is, uh, is kind of dangerous will use the truth to acquire his goal. Well, what's dangerous about President Obama's agenda? Uh, he has a cult mind. He's fixed on an agenda that's very dangerous. What's dangerous about that agenda? Uh, I'll give you an example. He is radically involved in, in uh, communist philosophy and... Uh, uh, the communist philosophy. What yes. is now communism is essentially he, he, um, the, the government owns all businesses and the government owns all wealth. There is no private property held by anybody. Um, I have never heard President Obama even intimate anything like that. What do you know that I don't know? You uh, you've never heard him uh, talk uh, seriously about wanting to spread the wealth. That's just a, a kind of a uh, a warm. Term I heard for. that I heard that throwaway phrase to Joe the plumber. Yeah, and yeah. and uh, we do spread the wealth in the United States. Uh, you know, we collectively pay for our roads, we pay for our That's fire right. departments, we pay for our police departments. The, uh, are these the things that you would call communist? Let me let me give you an example of uh, his uh, inability to see the obvious. That is a dangerous characteristic: the inability to see the obvious. Look what he did with uh, Van Jones. He did not understand what he had done. And now that his man got taken down... Wait a second. He, he, the he, the first he is, I'm assuming, Obama. The second yes. he is, I'm assuming, Van Jones. Van Jones what right. did Van Jones do? Van Jones is a racist with a radical agenda. If you look back into his history, <clears throat> anyone can see that. Now, what I'm saying... Now, now, hang on just a second here. You're talking about things from 17 years ago, a, a fairly radical organization that he was a part of. Uh, you're uh, familiar, I'm assuming, that William Rehnquist, our former Supreme Court Justice, you know, made his chops uh, stopping black people from voting in, by standing in the polls in Arizona. I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's no shortage of people who have odd histories. Uh, the the uh, Jeff Sessions, the senator from Alabama... Uh, Robert Byrd, the senator from West Virginia, a Democrat who you know who was in the KKK. I mean, it's a you, just, you you don't believe in redemption. You don't believe that people can change. I certainly do. I just don't foresee that mentality waking up and realizing that it needs redemption. You know, uh, I I caught the same flack back when I tried to warn the whole Bay Area about Jones. I I I warned them that. Congressman Ryan would not come out of South America alive. So I know you're, you're equating Barack Obama no, with Jim I am Jones? Not equating Barack with Obama in that sense. I'm saying that the danger is far greater because uh, this nation is in deep trouble. This there's a seventy percent chance that this nation is not going to recover, that it is going that it is going to die to what we have known it to be. That is with its traditions, its greatness. That's going to die unless people wake up. What will and it do look like research. if we die? Pardon me. As a nation, what will it, we have a minute left? What will it, what will it look like if we die? I think that we will be moving then toward uh, a, a second-rate nation with less understanding of our our goals and our needs and our purpose. No, specifically, and, what would it look like? Uh, I think there would be uh, poverty. 
and uh, confusion and you mass. think we don't have those things now? Uh, not to the degree that it's going to be. So at least I'm getting my warning out. I didn't, I, I didn't get through to people in the Bay Area, but at least I've got my warning. If they will read my book, so they will understand that. Your concern is that President Obama is a Jim Jones-like cult leader and... and not, not in the sociopathic way. Yeah. He has an agenda that's just as severe. Anyway, uh, okay. I know we don't have much Yeah, time. no, we don't. David Kahn, is, uh, his books, The Cult That Died and Lendorf's Dilemma, truthsleuth.net is the website. You, yeah, something else? Lednorf, L-E-D. Lednorf, thank you very much. Thank you. David Kahn, thanks for dropping by. Very, very interesting insight into your mind. We'll be right back.